Hello there everyone and thank you for rejoining me here in Old World Blues A to Z series in which we're playing as Mojave Territories. Last time we ended going north to the Sky Reavers and of course early on in the campaign we took out the Mojave chapter. So far we're looking pretty good. We're still getting ready for a war against the Legion and at this point we're doing a generic attack against these guys just because we need to. The Mojave Line. A long term ambition of the NCR Sin has been to construct a hot railway line connecting the NCR proper to New Vegas. The railway serves two purposes, both to bring trade quickly and efficiently to New Vegas and to assist in rapid redeployment of NCR troopers to the Mojave as needed. Um, we want ourselves supplies reduced by 60. Control the increased from loose to reasonable. Reducing the toll, uh, hostile raids, and local wildlife attack in the state half under manpower by 30%. Well, let's take a look-see. Um, they're still supporting this, which is great. 303 is not terrible, Defense Committee. NCR dollars, well, right now, at least economy-wise, we're only making like less than five caps a month or every you know tick so we're not gonna spend any money for now because eventually we're not gonna have any trade nodes still and really we need to save our money because I don't want us to be in a deficit at all so it would be very bad for us I want to do that one next supply we can keep that one open um, where can we see our supply issue stuff Supply Mojave. Oh, or maybe it's up here as the National Spirit. Mojave Supply. Okay, more attack and defense. So the more supply, the better. Who's capital of Boulder City? Oh boy. So supplies reduced by 40. Reduced by 60. Weekly manpower goes down. Damage garrison goes up. More compliance go it goes up though. Live and let live. When we go to war, the powder ganger harass our supply lines, but it's worth it for now, right? Open the divide. It's not bad. Well, or the great debate. Chief Hanley uses his important Mojave Defense Committee to cement his power over the Mojave Expedition, unlocking his focus branch and making Oliver's resignation inevitable. So then we go this way, Mojave Standoff. I don't get it out for whatever works. It doesn't really matter to me against all tyrants. Restore Hoover Dam. Locks to repair the next turbine decision, allowing us to restore up to each of the Hoover Dam's remaining turbines and increase the power output dramatically. Well, we don't need that immediately. Merits of Diplomacy. Okay, boomers, which is okay. You can skip that if you really want to. Um, negotiate with the Brotherhood Remnants. It's not terrible, especially if you want power armor. But make New Vegas see or make Vegas see sense. Division Defense, Factory Output, the NCR against the world. I kinda like that one too. Um they would have reviewed the Bitter Springs Massacre. Many officers wanted to cover up the details of the Bitter Springs Massacre, but the official policy of silence has begun to crumble since our attack on the Khan encampment. We should review the status of the Great Khans of the Mojave and make a decision on how to deal with the remnants. Come on, get across, get across. Help them out and spit them off. Should probably take the special forces with you too. Frequency analysis is, is good. Anything over here we can do? We're trying to get that extra manpower. Factory apple would be nice. Coring cost would be nice. We're going to go this way too to get more manpower as well. Keep these guys in place. Do not let them move. At this point, we just need to finish this war as fast as possible now. Our guys have, like, no strength. Go in. Good. Most of you should go here, since they're mostly here anyways. Good. So we've lost, what, 500 versus 6,200? That's pretty good, I'd say, overall. Oh, we got to circle. That is really bad. Huh. That is very bad. There you go, we got him. So hopefully now we can get more compliance here. And let's go back on the line. So seven divisions, not bad. Um, where do I want the other divisions? Special forces can hold. Ah, uh, you know what I want these guys doing? Garrison duties for now. Because we know they're going to come. Oh, we have a perfect amount, literally, to do that. And we have six special forces, so they can be split up accordingly how they want to. Help garrison these waterways. So you'll only be six. So now with that done, uh, now we're good. I got rid of those other free fighters before. Men tribute, no. Vengeful hearts. While while our expedition Bitter Springs removed the cons as an imminent threat, it failed to completely wipe them out. We began to learn of deals being made between the Legion and remaining Mojave cons, promising aid and support where the cons to join the Legion when they, ne they next attack. 
His death of the Khans could pose a serious threat to hold in the Mojave, but we could really use your presence as a tool to extract more supplies from the federal government. Alternatively, we could take this threat seriously, spending time to further weaken them. They're no real threat. Better take them serious. Um... They're no threat. Well, I'm sure they are. Screw it. I'm gonna say what they're no threat. So I give it. So one percent. They increase it by a little bit. So yeah, okay, interesting. We're damn the NCR's finest. That's pretty good. Plan. Cat McCarran Primsey. While well, Major HQ has always been in Dejur, the El Mojave Outpost, Cat McCarran has been been our major supply depot outpost in the northern Mojave Waste. So I'm gonna officially move our military HQ to the camp. Even though I don't want to say I want to spend any more money. Um, we're going to do this first anyways. Because I can help us put down resistance. It's only 14%. That's pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But we are on four-year conscription. So. Line up pretty nice. Um, I did say I want to do that one, but let's get more research speed and put the power down here too. <clears throat> Community Vegas has been removed. Oh boy. That's not ideal. Oh, I see why. They actually, oh, the king is doing this. House has been kicked out of Vegas. Oh. Could you guys win here? I have a feeling if they actually wanted to, they could probably win. We'll see. Cause then I, we could have done an offer, but... Live and let live. Operation Begin Operation Roll-Up. More compliance would be nice. We do definitely need that. I thought of a fifth column within our territory simply intolerable. We're going to allow the powder gangers to continue to terrorize the Western Mojave freely. As they're currently doing in Good Springs and Prim, the settlements must be brought into the fold one way or another. Ranger stations on I-40. <clears throat> the I-40 serves as a vital military purpose as one of our only redeployment routes in the event of an attack. By establishing a number of checkpoints manned by members of the Ranger Corps along the side of the road, we will be sure to remain safe as possible from the Legion attacks. Live and let live. We simply don't have the time or resources to deal with the powder gangers and break out from the NCR Correctional Facility outside Good Springs. We need men elsewhere. Well, skim settlements. Wait. Skim settlement supply. Skim settlement supply. Uh, we don't have that one. So maybe we can't do that one? Oh, it's over here. Okay. So this one goes up. More supplies increase, though. Maybe we'll do this one first. Great debate. For the months following the battle for Hoover Dam, the Mojave Defense Committee has endlessly debated our strategy. Very has been landed on both, on both Oliver's and Hanlon's heads, but so has extensive criticism. This content within the committee is coming to a head. And only one of the two influential characters can lead the expedition forward. Good. And then we're going to go with this one. Equipment. That would be bad. Do we need more equipment? We're looking We're looking all right for equipment. Equipment's good. Manpower, 304. Eh. Settlements, political power. Oh, we did that one earlier, so that's fine. I don't mind optimized trading, so we can at least keep some more stuff here. Oh, I must get rumors. Um, we're going to wait. We're going to wait until the War of the Legion is done with that one first. Eight. Okay, so if I sit and wait. Patrol in the Mojave may, almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there would be more gambling. It's been a long tour, and all I can think about now is going home. We won't go quietly, at least you can count on that. Yeah, that's, this is the one I definitely want to do. A little speed, but that's alright. You guys should be able to win here, and it's only a house. Jacobson is doing okay. But you never know. Need more radios, huh? That makes sense. We're making radios, it's just production's not very good right now. General Oliver's resignation. Josh Hanlon is named the new general in his place. I don't mind, I wish, I probably would have got more political power, but whatever. Vision. Well, I guess we're going this way. 
More, less attack, which I don't like. More defense. Supplies reduced. Oh, we can get good strings as a core, though. As well as Nipton. Okay, we're going to go this way, then. General Oliver's resignation. The Mojave Defense Committee has made its decision, and the majority of its members backhand it over Oliver. As a result, Oliver has chosen to resign his position of General of the Mojave Expedition, as recommended, Hanlon take the title instead. At Hanlon's behest, however, Oliver will continue serving as a field marshal in Mojave. Do which we must. Good. The resistance is still pretty decently high up here. There we go. Let's do all of these guys right here. Good. More research speed. Lee Oliver resigns as General of the Mojave Expedition. And then we're going to go with War Plan Bastion. General Hanley knows one truth about the Mojave Expedition. No matter it's backing from Shady Sands, it's just too much desert for the NCR's overextended conscripts, conscript army to hold. Instead, Hanley proposes a bold new strategic vision. War Plan Bastion. Look at this guy. Dislikes the Legion. Leadership in the NCR. A taken a significant term, as General Lee Oliver announced his resignation as commanding officer of the Mojave Expedition earlier today. The news comes following months of debate on policy which culminated in the Mojave Defense Committee. The body assembled to determine the future of the NCR's expedition to the Mojave, declaring that it would lend its support to General Josh Hanlon. This event marks the conclusion of a long power struggle within the expedition. In the wake of the Battle of Fort Hoover Dam, the decision to replace a congressional favorite has been received poorly by the NCR's government. Under jo General Josh Hanlon, the NCR military strategy in the region is expected to radically shift, prioritizing operational flexibility and securing hard points along the vast Colorado River in preparation for the Legion's anticipated return to the Mojave. Meet the new boss, same as the old boss. And I want to write race down here. Oh, we need more manpower. Crud. Scam settlement supply. While NCR troopers are woefully under-equipped, a reasonable amount of supply continues to flow through the NCR for the purposes of settlement development. And poverty aid, of course. These ventures are worthless if there's no NCR in the area to reap the benefits. We should skim uh, some off the top of these supply convoys for the army's use. It's only for the best. And it was a disobey the part Baker decree. Oversight rejected. Oh, boy. Return to sender. Anything here we really care about? Not too much. Um, I do want to do this one instead. So skim some supply and then begin operation roll, which we read earlier. Reinforce Camp Searchlight. Camp Searchlight nested or nestled in the prosperous village of Searchlight and near the Colorado River. A strategically vital military hardpoint. We we'll anticipate the major thrust of the Legion's attack will come across the Hoover Dam. It may also be possible that an attempt is made across the Colorado on our southern flank near Searchlight. This cannot be allowed to happen. Reinforce Camp Forlorn Hope. Despite its rather dreary name, Camp Forlorn Hope is one of our chief outposts and observation points against Legion expansion. Should it fall, our force will be effectively split up in two along the Route 95. If we have the supply to spare, beefing up the camp's offensive would be well worth the cost. Open the Divide. The Divide is the other route which we can reach the NCR's supply hubs. Those who have recently acquired by our allies, we can now receive a stark increase in our supply stockpiles. And I read this one earlier too. Integrate Prim. Prim has long remained just outside of reach. Due to lack of manpower and general ambivalence, the NCR has never made a concerted effort to integrate the region. If we were to install an NCR sheriff in the town, taking advantage of the chaos caused by the power gangers, we surely bring the town into our fold. And there were good springs. One of the first targets of the powder gangers was Good Springs, a prosperous little trading town on the western route to New Vegas. It suffered much under the tyrannical rule of the petty powder ganger warlords, and would surely be grateful for NCO troopers to provide them with safety and security. And they eventually cleared out Nipton. Nipton was granted a measure of autonomy during the early days of the Mojave Campaign, due to its size and relatively insignificant location. However, it was going to become a hive of scum and villainy after the powder gangers arrived, specializing in smuggling and prostitution. Ooh! We must establish order of the summit if we were to ex exercise, ever exercise, a measure of control over the area. A shared vision. Despite many of their tactical differences, Hanlon and Oliver both share strategic visions for the Mojave, especially when it comes to competing with the Legion away from the dam. Together, they make a formidable strategic team. You know what, we'll do this one too. The NCR against the world. We can't rely on anyone to have our backs when it comes to defending the Mojave, especially not gunpowder obsessed tribes or technology obsessed semi religious streaks. The NCR must learn to survive on its own and restore the Hoover Dam. The dam has long been running at a mere fraction of its potential capacity. With some serious work, we could drastically upscale the powder, or power production of the plant. Ooh, merges the committee to fall of New Vegas. Should the New Vegas fall to power is unwilling to uphold the Treaty of New Vegas, the committee must be convened to decide on a plan in response. Well, I don't know if we'll actually get that one, since we're probably just going to go straight to war with them anyways. And, well, Vegas has ended its civil war, but we decided to go in too, because, you know, why not? Uh, additionally, I do want to go throw on this person, Warden. It's not going to help out that much, but it'll help a little bit. I like the less resistance, because we could use that now, and when we go to w the war with the Legion. I'm expected to pull these prisoners to work, making new rail lines and fixing the existing ones, but I can't do that if I don't have any guards to keep an eye on them. A notable manager of prisons once upon a time in the hub, 
Nathan Lopez was picked up to oversee the use of convicts in the territory. Operating out of the NCR Correction Facility east of Good Springs, we can expect him to eventually contain criminal elements in the territory, which will help with the resistance. Oh! Ah, good old... who's here? The Kings, right? Good old Kings. Terrorism population increase. Oh no. We're fighting for the strip, guys. And begin Operation Rope, which is going to hurt our manpower a little bit, but whatever. We're going to liberate Good Springs immediately. Uh, just in case, let's do Prim first, because we have less... I want to make sure that we have enough manpower for this. But no, we get a core on this anyways. No, we're going to do Liberate Good Springs. No matter what. And we just got irrigation done, so we're definitely going to do that one then. New Vegas is downfall. For the first time in living memory, the casinos on the New Vegas Strip failed to open for business this morning, largely thanks to the annihilation and the fierce fighting against the Mojave Territories. For days, fighting on the Strip raged as Securitrons and mobs lord of the great families of the casinos attempted desperately to prevent their precious city from falling to hostile powers. Ultimately, the Strip was lost, but even then, the families of the Strip continued to stubbornly defend the casinos. Following direct order from Josh, General Josh Hanlon, the casinos were demolished with the last mobsters inside them, much to the dismay of the soldier keen on looting the riches. Secure drones meanwhile withdrew in the direction of the Mojave's weather monitoring system, although attempts to find them have so far been unsuccessful. Vegas was rebuilt once and it can't be again. We have the strip. The, rest the war's not over yet, but the, look at that. Fantastic. Yes. Make our special forces even more special. Oh, we got them! Look at that! That's actually really fast. I love it when people have civil wars, so now the Mojave Territories is looking mighty fine. But unfortunately, we got to redo this again. Um, but yeah, overall, that was actually really easy. It's great when uh, people decide to kill themselves, and you can take them over after they're, after, they're, after they're done. It's great. I love it. Like I said before, 13 divisions, just in case. Pop, we have right there, too. Um, I want to get make sure Hoover Dam as well. 14 divisions, that's fine. And there's actually a really good experience for us, too. So now we got even more resistance to deal with, unfortunately. But, look at that money. Oh, we got New Vegas as a trade note, too. So now we'll be feeling okay in terms of cash. A little bit. Hopefully. So I don't mind spending a little bit more to get two spies. Help with down resistance, perhaps. Are you still at war, NCR? Now they gave us a few more factories, too. Which is not much, but it's better than nothing. So we don't have to do this one at all. Yay! And then we'll do a clear out Nifty Next. I, I read all these, like, obviously, but still. No longer getting increasing our power, that's fine. I don't plan on going to war with anyone else for now. We'll see. Hey, and we got a core. We finally got a core. Oh, New Vegas is here. Good, good, thank God. Okay. I'm feeling way better. Thank God I left this on ahistorical. Woo! And it's a level 10 node. Oh, I love New Vegas. Been in Las Vegas myself. It was alright when I went, it wasn't great. Of course, it was low after COVID, but you know, whatever. Oh, wait, am I supposed to, can I say the word COVID? I don't care. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Let's get rumors. We'll do that after, like I said, the war's done. Um, do we need any more equipment? Radios, spec ops. So far, it's okay. Great. 20 factories. It's not bad. And you know what? Actually, we're going to do this one first. Build another civvy. Or, Millie. I don't care about your stability, we need this. Um, super tech, that's fine. Hey! Aklalox Demise, so I, I assume soon they're gonna go to war with us. 44% is not bad. Wow, we actually have a little bit of manpower. Mobilizing a little more too, look at that. So we have less supply now, but we get and less manpower, but we get actually get a core. Operation Rope's over. And we get Prim. Um, how much supply do we have? That's actually not bad, that's actually pretty good. Another Civvy. Um, I'd rather do this one. Integrate pr oh, hello. Oh, well, I guess we're going to share vision next. We have at least 40 supply, not crisis in California. So we can do all of these as the war is going on. Which would be good. More coordination would be nice. Ooh, we already have radar, which is good. Um, Baja redeployments. Baja Peninsula has one of the most bloody conflicts that the NCR has found itself involved in. Numerous divisions of NCR troopers and rangers are deployed to the region, where they face harsh terrain and insurgent enemy. Those that survive emerge as grizzled veterans, the kind of veter veterans the Mojave expedition seeks out. Alright, so we're going to... Actually, this is cool. No. So we're going to save. They're going to come to war with us. We're actually looking okay. Our guys are pretty darn experienced. We need more radios, but that's normal. A few demo, demo equipment things, but that's alright. Anything else here? Science points income. How much money do we actually make now? If that's the case, I don't mind doing Dollars Economy. New Citizen Care Package? Let's go and do that so we can get more cores faster. 
Now we have a little bit of money we can spend. I just hope to God that we can have, actually defend here. Mm. Nine divisions. They're not looking super strong either. I'm going to throw you up here. Well, actually, you know, you already... Eh, I don't really need you here, though. Go here. I spec up. So we can always readjust things anyways later on. Religion musters once more. Kaiser hasn't learned his lesson, it seems. He's coming back for the dam. And we'll have to break them out, or break them, once again. This is going to be a big war. We must prepare defenses, of course. Uh, is it up us, maybe? So I'm sure they can go to war with us anytime. Here comes the NCR soldiers, the NCR faction. Uh, and they're still fighting up there. Look out, it's just riding. Use some planes, and you'll be fine. Uh, disobey the Baker Decree. Second battle. Everyone knew, knew his day would come. For once more, the Legion assaults a dam, and once more, the NCR seeks to repel the assaults with whatever means it can. Unlike the first time, however, neither Oliver nor the Malpass Legate stands on alone. The Legion assault now brings with it the full weight of the Legion's military and industry. Similarly, the NCR itself is mustering troops to march into the Mojave and reinforce the woefully outnumbered Mojave expedition. Will the NCR manage to mobilize before the forces are overwhelmed, or will the full weight of the Legion crush the forces of liberty that dare oppose them? The Mojave expedition will not hold alone. Our lease of the Mojave outpost was always meant to be mandatory. The settlement initially acted as a staging point for our expedition, as well as a central supply hub. Over time, our inability to quickly crush resistance has led to growing NCR concern over our capabilities. As a result, the NCR Senate seemed to fit to, to demand increased federal oversight, something we cannot let happen due to the inherent negative outcomes of, on our ability to conduct the war. Hey. Oh wait, there they go. Should be able to hold here, but we'll see. And here we are to grind, and grind, and grind. Mojave speech. News from Hoover Dam this morning is President Allgood Murphy himself arrived at Hoover Dam to give a speech to the troops and workers manning it. Well, are you sure that he did, he did that? Because we were literally in a battle. The president of the speech was many of the leaders of the Mojave Territories Administration, including General Oliver. After a moment of appreciation and minutes of silence for all the lives unfortunately lost in the campaign, President Murphy uh, began to lambast the administration of the territories, calling into question its treatment of the locals, most notably in Freeside, and the disproportionate amount of aid given to NCR citizens over the local populace. After specifically placing the blame on General Oliver, President Murphy then announced from his day forth all citizens of the Mojave would receive equal treatment to that of NCR citizens. Ending his speech, a commotion occurred when a man identified as a Legion assassin attempted to rush a president with a knife. It was quickly subdued by the President's Ranger Guards, who rushed the President to his transport. Another man, assumed to be the assassin's accomplice, was later apprehended fleeing the dam. The President is alive and well back in Shady Sands. That was close, though I don't think he is too happy with us. Not a question of citizenship. More non-core manpower, stability, and daily compliance. Great! Add non-discriminatory support. Darn it. Hey, but I'll, I will gladly welcome the extra compliance, because that'll help us with get Corey New Vegas and the North Passage and everything like that. Birth of Meso Mesoamerican Alliance. Oh. Oh, they don't become one, huh? All right, whatever. Um, we're gonna be in the desert a lot, so I wanna make sure I do this right. So, desert, you know what? We'll get a lot of infantry here first. There we go. I don't like that they're taking up all the territory here. Leonida Porta. So, how are we supposed to win the war? They're not going to come attack us. They just stack so many soldiers on here. Oh, they are attacking, I guess, on here at least. Oh, they're just attacking us. They, so, have they gone to war? They No, they're just at war with us. Okay, they didn't know. Wow, redevelopment's great. Integrate Prim. Trouble from Black Mountain. <clears throat> Black Mountain. Uh, the past for years been broadcasting a strange gobble radio signal. Likely the work of a lunatic with a radio antenna, we've more or less ignored the broadcast until NCR patrols started going missing near the area. So now for the Senate Division to stab the truth about Black Mountain. And what do we have here? Elite Ranger Team. 12 combat with. I don't want to use you. I will literally convert you to Mojave Troopers because we have enough special forces and I want to make sure our special forces are more special. Question machines. And we're just going to... Uh, we don't actually need... Ex ah, it's only 7%. You know what? Screw it. We'll do it anyways. Oh, you're actually, see, this is why we do it. They're actually naval invading us here, too. Wait, what? Hello? You have only one division here now? Um, 
Yeah, no, you get down there fast. Oh, crap. That's not good. Well, you're going to have to force the fence. Backyard workshops, then. Rather redeployments. Good. Ah, oh, we're doing the land auction. Land auction. Good. Uh. I think you force that fence there. Good. Get down there now. Do not let them get a port. You get, let them get a port. It's over. Just like the coffee I just finished. It's over. Oh. Get in there. Hello? There you go. Oh, crap. Hold on. Give him a second here. Should be fine. And here comes the Legion. Pretty much. Shovel from Black Mountain. Well, that's weird. Rangers approach Black Mountain are here and we're ramblings about you, Tobitha. The promised land of mutants. After some sharp rifle volleys, the radio station has been silenced with minimal casualties. Among the survivors was a Mexican girl named Raul Teja, Teada. Raul was offered to work on Moab's infrastructure in exchange for saving his life. Is not life wonderful? For the next 24 hours at least. Hey, more supply. He volunteers for service. It was, it was either you or that postal worker, I guess. Staring the bear in the mouth. For months, the Legion started gathering its troops near the old weather monitoring station just beyond Hoover Dam. We know an attack is coming any month now, but yet there's much preparation to, to be done. Well, everyone, the 80s have now joined the Legion. How frickin' fantastic is that? And we're doing okay for the most part. Um, we've, killed, we've lost 2,000. But we've killed off 21,000, which is okay. It's not great. It's not bad. We have made, we do have a little bit of money, which is not bad either. Um, raise waste intelligence budget. We could. Use this as a care package. Let's go into that one first. Um, but we've done a few focuses, such as Operation Flexibility. If we're to defeat the Legion on the battlefield, we must be ready to adapt our plans to any situation. Uh, in this auto bypass, Hardpoint Gambit, the final act of Hanlon's war plan bastion is the abandonment of the western and central Mojave to local settlements. While it drastically decreases the control of these regions and opens the possibility for a raider resurgence, it means we can almost exclusively focus our military forces along the Colorado to face the Legion straight on. It's a gamble, but why just pay off? And Kazar de Linda asked. Kazar must be destroyed, we cannot keep living in uncertainty. Never knowing when an attack may begin, it means that bringing the fight to the Legion, if that means, so, it, so be it. So we get a reorganization of the Rangers, Ranger Corps. If you're going to these ones, again, please go right ahead. Um, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. We also do the NCR against the world. Yeah, so we can't rely on anyone to have our backs when it comes to defending the Mojave. Especially not gun powder obsessed tribals or technology obsessed semi religious freaks. The NCR must learn to survive on its own. So at this point, we're really close to being able to core stuff. That's why we did the other stuff down there. So this is kind of a worrisome thing. We left with just a single division down there. Um, we're slowly destroying these divisions too, which is great. We're actually holding out up here, but it helps if you have special forces. Um, oh, crap. Okay, can you, like, do better? Come on. Just hold yourself in place. That's all you need. Ah, oh, finally another division. Um, I'm going to actually throw you up here because you never know what could happen up there. We've gone down conventional warfare. Um, more production. We don't really need that for now. Let's see. Well, we don't need mutant tactics. Waste and tactics, asymmetrical, wouldn't be bad. Elite. We don't have heavy special forces. Well, we do, but not really. So we're going to go with Wasteland. We could go actually the own Legion route back to do that too, maybe. That wouldn't be a terrible idea either. Pulse code modification. So we've done a lot of things here already. Um, we're not going to do the other two focuses that are available around here just because we don't need to. They ruin our... They lessen how much damage our divisions actually do, which I don't like. So we're not going to quite do them yet. Here, go here, do this. Help them out. The faster you destroy them, the better. Oh, hello. That's not ideal. What did you do that for? Get your butts over there. You're not allowed to lose. That's stupid. Um, so we got these guys done. We got those guys done. We're going to keep doing all this and whatnot. Uh, I really want to core this for you before the, we end up, though, but in the North Passage. We'll get there in just a little bit. Government Sacrifice School is nice. Very good, very good, very good. Good, because I really don't want to do this because it reduces our thing by a hundred. Because right now our supply lower basically to seven percent attack, seven percent defense, which is not bad, but still Ranger Corps reorganization of the, or the Rangers. Um, that reward technology is right here. Ranger Corps spec ops gets more defense and soft attack. Reorganization of the range is more defense, breakthrough organization as well. So it really helps out our special forces, which is nice. 
It's very, very nice, actually. Especially up here. So we're basically just kind of stuck here from now. There goes Wasteland Rangers. That's good. Um, just because I might call in the these guys against them, because that would be very beneficial. But that means we go just fine. They would join the war here too. Oh, another oh, one. Oh, it's a smaller group that some rarely sometimes wins. They never defense network. Hey, but this can't. They can't go. Uh, this Kazar cannot go further east, which is pretty nice. So right now I'm just going to collect the political power because we need core stuff. Come on, let's do, do at least one together for the end of the episode. Here we go. It's only 60. It's not worth a lot, but at least we have another core province. That is super nice. So I'm going to keep running and doing this um, off screen. And by the time we're ready to go to war, we'll have hopefully more divisions. Uh, be fighting these guys even more. We gotta see what happens. So if you enjoyed the video though, it's a little shorter than normal. Please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow. As hopefully we'll be ready to completely take out the rest of the Legion. Thanks for watching. And have a great rest of your day.